One of the challenges associated with defending networks traditionally has been complexity. The defender has to cover a whole lot of bases, whereas the attacker only has to find one vulnerability. In addition, attackers today have a tendency to have better knowledge than defenders do of you know, what vulnerabilities exist in the software systems. And uh, attackers also know how to evade uh, uh, protective measures like antivirus and IPS. And so as defenders, we, re we really got to think about what we can do to get an edge on an attacker, knowing that they know a lot more than we do about the vulnerabilities in our infrastructure. And I think that a key to that has to, has to do with, with being aware of the attacker's presence and trying to understand more about what the attacker is doing uh, than perhaps he or she realizes that we know. Really, we've moved from a, a situation where we're expecting to be able to, to prevent attacks from being successful uh, to a situation where uh, attacks are going to be successful, and we have to assume at any time that our networks may be compromised. And the question is, can we find those compromises? Uh, can we become aware of them? Uh, and uh, can we monitor them and make sure that we're, we're on top of them? Uh, another th advantage that, that we potentially have over our attacker is that we um, know more about our network, uh, hopefully, than the attacker does, uh, or we have the potential to. So if we understand um, that the attacker is there, we understand what they are doing, we understand uh, the, our network topography, and we understand uh, where the attacker has to go to get where they, um, where they want to be, uh, hopefully we can take uh, steps to prevent that attack from being successful. Um, and, and putting all those ingredients together um, requires visibility into what's happening inside your network. Uh, you can't just uh, look out at, at what's coming in from the internet anymore. You have to consider uh, you know, what's going on between systems on your in internal network so that you can discover uh, compromises in progress and uh, keep track of them. And, and, and really that, that ability to be aware is, is how you gain an edge on, uh, on a sophisticated threat actor today. The power of StealthWatch is really the ability to gain visibility into what's happening inside of your computer network. Uh, and that's useful in, in, uh, in several ways. To begin with, we have uh, security systems that are uh, firing alerts all the time at our, our SOC telling us that um, attacks are happening. And we need to know whether or not those alerts are real and if we need to respond to them. So you can take those alerts and you can go into StealthWatch and, and you can see uh, what's happening with those systems, what network interactions they're engaged in, and, and potentially determine whether or not they're infected and whether or not a more in-depth uh, response is required. Uh, secondly, um, StealthWatch enables you to do that further investigation because you have an audit trail of what's happening in your network. You can see if that machine was infected, uh, what other systems it, it communicated with and whether or not data is being exfiltrated or being moved around within your network and you can you can scope that all out without even having to reach that infected computer and pull it off the network. Uh, the, th the third thing is that StealthWatch helps you detect this kind of activity when it's happening inside your network. We have a lot of detection focused on the perimeter looking for attacks coming in but StealthWatch helps us see uh, later stages in the, in the attack once the attacker is in our environment uh, what they may be doing that uh, uh, th that's suspicious on our internal environment. So uh, putting those things together really provides you with a, a necessary ingredient for defending networks today where we have to assume that we, we have attackers in our network and we need to be hunting for them and, and trying to root them out. The Heartbleed vulnerability provides a great example of the power of network behavioral anomaly detection and stealth watch. Uh, when this vulnerability was disclosed, the bad guys found out at the same time the good guys did, and the good guys had to take action to patch their computer systems and install IPS signatures and the like and get to a point where they could control the uh, situation. And it's very hard to tell uh, before you take those steps whether or not your servers were attacked. NetFlow provides you with a way of monitoring the network transactions that are coming into uh, your, your, web, your web environment. Uh, and it's possible to investigate NetFlow to identify Heartbleed attacks. Many uh, LandCope customers were able to use StealthWatch to identify those attacks. And in fact, we had a, uh, an analytic called Suspect Long Flow that we introduced into the product back in 2007 that looks for uh, anomalous uh, network behavior that happened to trigger on, on Heartbleed attacks. So we provided some real uh, preemptive detection capabilities for our customers in that case.